Hello guys, my name is Biffa. Thank you for joining me at first look at Cities Skylines Asset Editor. This is the first main menu that you start from. Before we get into this, I just want to mention that the game is not due out until the 10th of March 2015, just in case you're watching this video years in advance. And uh, this is a week before that, so there may be a couple of things that are going to change between now and then. Mainly the game's the same, but any little errors or things like that that you spot... Um, don't worry about that, they'll all be fixed before the game is out for you guys to enjoy. So this is the main menu, the screen that you see when you first start the game. And if we pop into the Tools menu, we have the Map Editor and the Asset Editor. A separate video will take a look at the Map Editor, so watch out for that on my channel. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And I'll be going into in-depth. I've already had a play with that and had some fun with making a map. The water physics are great, but we'll cover that in another time. So an asset editor. Let's have a look at this first. We'll start a new asset. And you can choose, first of all, between sunny north, so sort of European perhaps look, and tropical. Let's go for tropical. It's been snowing here today, so we want a bit of sun. And I just want to mention as well before I start, I'm not a graphic designer or anything like that, so you're not going to see some amazing house being built. But I can show you the tools that are at your disposal so you can be ready to try this out for yourself when the game's out next week. And if you are a graphic artist or something like that, then you'll know the things that you've got that you need to use. So as I said, ignore this. You get the odd error. I, I straight away went in and downloaded all the custom assets. They're not quite finished yet, so that'll be fixed. Don't worry about that. So we can start off by choosing the type of asset that we want to create. And each of these will give us different tools. So let's just pick the first one. Let's have a look at intersection. We'll continue with that. Again, this is something that I'm sure will be fixed. <laughs> I do not know why that is in the middle of the asset creator, but there we go. Let's just move over here. We won't worry about that. So we have the tools at the bottom here. We can pause the game. Um, this is the same for the map making editor as well. You can see how your game reacts in real time if there's moving parts and that sort of thing, particularly thinking about water. Um, but obviously with creating an asset, that is not needed. So we pause the game. We have here the selection of all the different types of rows that we can use within the game. So you can pick and choose which ones you want to use. And we have the other menus here as well, just showing you what we have here. Some of these you would have already have seen, I'm sure. Six lanes with and without trees, one-way roads. They're very good. Oh, just worth something keeping in mind. One-way roads. They will place one way the way that you are facing. Have I gone far enough to get some arrows on there? There we go, look. So then if I do this one this way, there we go. The arrows will be facing, where are they? We're we'll facing the other way. So depending on which way you drag the road, that is the way that the one way goes. That's worth keeping in mind because sometimes you can be working on road systems and you're not sure why it doesn't line up correctly. Because if I did one going like that, there we go, we'll get that thing in the middle. And it's not always that little symbol there saying no road connection. And it's not always obvious why. And then you go along the road and you finally come across the arrows, that one's going to the right, that's a one-way road, you go to the other way, that one's going to the left, and you realise your mistake. So worth keeping that in mind when you're making cities as well, that's caught me out a few times. So here we go, the extra big roads with the sound barriers, some intersections you can use, again there's a couple of assets that aren't quite finished off yet, but we'll get to see those. Three-way intersections, and you can have your harbour roads as well. So let's jump in to loading up an asset and I'll show you some of the tools you can use. Okay, we just go to the menu and load asset. We have this diverging diamond interchange. There we go, that somebody has added, I think one of the, uh, the devs has added onto the uh, Steam Workshops. So you can go and check that out. And the good thing about this, you've got your through roads here. Uh, this is obviously driving on the right hand side. So we've got the through roads going here, one way this way, one way that way, but any turn off, let's do it the way that the roads are going. This is confusing me because being in Europe, <laughs> in Britain, just driving on the wrong side of the road, but any turn off to the right, um, if it was in Britain it would be to the left, is a free turn. There's nothing stopping you, so straight off, straight off, straight onto the road, nothing is getting in your way, this way you want to go. Very, very good interchange, but what are some of the tools you can use? Well, you can basically, let's take the bulldoze key. Actually, let's add, so let's just say we're going to add some roads and mess around with this. So let's make this a bit bigger. What size road is that? Let's take one of these. Which way is that going? Let's go in this way. So let's do that. There we go. Oh, made it slightly bigger. 
let's take that one. There we go. And then we wanted to mess around and maybe add some slip road or something on. Let's take... What have we got here? Two-lane gravel path. We've got some nice one-way roads we could use. This is what I'm looking for. A highway ramp. That is what we would call a slip road in this country. So you want to add something on here. So you sort of start messing around with this and it goes up and down automatically for you. And you think, oh, that looks good. We'll add one over here. Let's get that lined up. It's just the spot there. There we go. Also, when you're placing roads, let's just add another one on here. If you use your page up and page down key, it will do the sloping for you. And right click stops the road from working. There we go makes you disappear and then you decide you want to change your mind and you say well I don't know about that so you press your B key for your bulldoze and you can just easily remove the pieces of the road that you are adding in which is really very good and you can sort of extend this as much as you like in each direction it's just uh, let's add some of these with the sound barriers so that's gonna go that way this one's gonna go this way there we go Lots of nice sound barriers around, and there if you're driving particularly fast, you can drive up on the sound barrier, handbrake turn, and head back down the road again. <laughs> so I particularly like this, this diverging diamond interchange. I really want to see if I can get that into my city. Let's take a look at the other options you get on creating other assets. So we take a quick look at intersections. Let's take a look at creating a park. Again, we've got this steeple sticking out, which you will need to ignore. But here we have all these other options here. You can add little pieces of road in if you want. You can add different types of path and trees. You can colour the blocks that you're going to be building as well. So these tiny blocks here. Is that... What's this one here? It's just like a different colour gravel. That's gravel. This is sort of like a grassy path, ruined. What's this one called? Field. Oh, very nice. There we go. And the clip. So you can have a nice little... And the outside... Oh, it clips like a hole, so we can see the thing that's underground. That is very strange. I don't think I can actually delete that. Can I? <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Well, you'll have to ignore that. You can add billboards and signs. Again, these aren't really showing up very well at the moment, but if you plop them in the world, there we go. You can see what they look like. Lots and lots of options here. I mean, there's so many little teeny tiny billboards as well. What have we got? We've got some funny... What are these? These are like funny little... What does it call it here? A random industrial logo. Oh, we've got larger random industrial logos. There we go. For your buildings. Ice cream. Oh, there's so many little assets that you can add to this. Let's move along to the next one. I'm going to run out of space before we show all of these off. Crate piles, cargo ships. What was that one? Different sorts of crates. I'm just randomly grabbing all sorts of these just so we can see what they are. Oh, that's interesting. That's like concrete supports. Oh, for any work areas that you want to have. Wow, they are really cool. Benches. Pylons. Swings. All sorts of things. It'll be nice once these are fixed so you can see exactly what they are. And uh, when I stream the game tomorrow, or that might be actually going on at the moment, because I'm recording this the day before, it might be something that's already been updated and fixed. We shall see. We'll have a play with this again on live stream. But certainly you've got tools here to play with. There's so many things. There's solar panels, are they? Is that solar panels? No, la yeah, large solar panels. There you go. Different size solar panels. Oh, lots of things. Satellite dishes. You can go through this and play and see all the different things. I might try and create some assets and upload them to the workshop. Definitely going to have some fun with this. Oh, what's that? It's like a little swimming pool outline. A parking bay. Ah, that's interesting because we can add, you can right click to swing those around. There we go. Let's line that up. So we can add parking bays. Let's add one this side, which our little guys will use. What else do we have here? Have I reached the capacity of how many things I can add? I think I have, haven't I? And we can change the properties. Common construction cost, garbage accumulation. So we're getting a lot of tools here for working on our assets. Water usage. That's very exciting. What's this one here? Steam marker. Oh, very good. There we go. And then once we've finished with our freaky deaky looking asset, we can take a snapshot of that. 
There we go. Okay, let's take a quick look through the other ones. We have our buildings here that we can make. Select a template to start from. So we're given templates of basically all the different types of roads. All the different buildings that are in the game. So there we go. They're all separated by section. Some of these you'll recognise. Some of these are test things that have been added to the workshop. You can have empty parks, empty lots, some of the huge buildings. All sorts of things here. These are all the different types of shops that you'll see um, that spring up in the game. So basically anything and everything that you see in the game, it looks to me that you can edit those assets. Let's take one of these big buildings down here and let's pick a good one. Which shall we have? The Hadron Collider. That sounds like a good one. There we go. And we can also import um, a model. Well, we've already got this one. I don't have any models of my own to import, so we'll leave that as it is, and we'll just click Continue. There we go. There's the Hadron Collider. Now, it's interesting to see, if we use our Bulldoze key, how many of these parts we can take and remove. Well, this is one asset, and I say that because that's a question that I've seen people ask. This is one complete asset model. I don't know the technical term for that, but that's what I would call it. So you can't delete little pieces off of here, but you can add, let's add a, say a little billboard here and a little billboard there, and then we change our minds. We can remove those out of the asset. But again, we have all the options that we had before down here, things we can add, things we can remove. Let's have a look. And we can actually put them on top. There we go. We'll do that as well. So we can start changing the way this looks. We'll add some vents on the front and the back. There we go. And it automatically adjusts the size so we can add those onto here, which I think is really cool. So let's get right up the top. What could we add that's quite funny right on the top? What's this one here? Itsy Bitsy Critter Animated Billboard. Yeah, we need one of those on top of the Hadron Collider. There we go. That'll be facing the other direction. Whoa, zooming in and out. What have we got on this one here? Let's take a look at that. A Clown 3D Billboard. Yay, there we go. We need clown heads on our Ast Astron Collider, our Hadron Collider. And we can see here how many props that we get to use. I don't think I mentioned that in the last little clip. So we have up to 64 that we can add remove and change and then once you've finished and you've perhaps adjusted all the properties as well of your new asset we can save our asset so let's call this one. Oh, we don't have a picture let's cancel that let's first of all get a nice view on here we want to really see our clown heads at the top let's do this side there we go and then we'll use our snapshot tool bang in the middle there we go then we'll save that asset. There we go. That's our picture. And this is the Hadron Collider test. And we'll change the name here as well. Hadron Collider test. And we shall save that. Excellent. And then it'll be interesting to see whether we can use that in-game. But let's have a look and see if we can load up our Hadron Collider on a map and see what it looks like. Right, so I've jumped into one of my little test cities that I've been messing around with, just been throwing stuff down on the ground, seeing how it works. So let us load up. I have the unlimited money and unlocked everything in the game cheats enabled. That is enabled for the game. Everybody can have that. There's also a hard mode mod as well, so you can check that out. So as we said... This is not completely finished the game. It's got another week to go, so the pictures aren't always showing up here. But this is my, I think it's this one here. That's the normal Hadron Collider. This is my Hadron Collider. Let's see if we add that over here. And then we come out of that menu. Everybody's very happy about having the Hadron Collider added. And we have our little vents that we've added on there. Let's have a look on the roof and the back. Yep, we've got, got our little clown heads. And we've got those up the top as well. That looks really cool. That is a cool looking building, isn't it? Look at that. And that data is going to be uh, fixed, obviously, as the game progresses towards release. But that just goes to show how you can import these into the game and use them straight away. Look at the way the sun is reflecting off of that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Let's get the game running as well. Really, really good. I love it. And he's short on power. I tell you what, 
Oh, there we go. He's getting power. It's just updating as the game has started. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that very, very quick run through of the asset editor in game. It was very, very brief, just running through, showing you what options there were. If there's anything particularly that you want to see, then let me know, put it in the comments below, then I'll be happy to run through any options with you. I think I'll try my hand at making an asset or two for the next video where I'll go into more details. I'm sure that'll be something that you guys would like to see. Be sure to watch out for the video that I'm about to put out as well, probably within half an hour, an hour of this one where I'm going to cover some of the basics of the map making editor that we have. I'm also going to be live streaming today as well, as soon as the embargo is lifted at 2 p.m. Um, that's GMT, 3 p.m. CET. Uh, not quite sure what that is around the rest of the world, but at, uh, I'll put a link in the description as well so you can find out what that is in your time. And of course, I'm going to be having a Let's Play series on my channel as well. So <laughs> lots of things going on in the background. Things are expanding and growing, you can see. <laughs> so watch out for that. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you guys next time. Look, all these houses are loving the fact that there's a Hadron Collider here and they're now upgrading from low density buildings Oh, upgrades underway. Excellent, excellent. They're loving it. I love it too. That's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.